How's it going everybody? I hinted at this video in one of the TG ones already or before, I don't quite remember right now. Nevertheless, the topic for today is about zone attacks. For now, we're going to assume that the testing ground changes in regard to option selects are coming as shown, meaning all of them are removed, which includes the zone option select. Doesn't matter whether you are in favor or against that decision, we'll explore the options that this opens up. But I also want to quickly give a little disclaimer. I often get asked what I would want to change with a hero, what reworks would look like and all that. And fair enough, I do give plenty of feedback and put my opinions out there, but it's usually about changes. I try not to be too big an armchair developer. When we as a community make suggestions, we pretty much never know the full picture. We don't know what is possible in the code or how many resources are available. If a change requires some extensive motion capturing and new rigging, then maybe it's a better idea to make a new execution instead of giving a rarely played hero a few new moves. It might just be the better decision business-wise. So with that said, we're going to ignore all that and just go wild at the end of the video. On that. But what we can be certain of is that the role of zone attacks can now actually be defined and now we also have the option for that very role to change and be different for each hero. Before, a zone was always measured by how good of an option selected was. It was mainly defensive based. Was it unsafe on block, like Shaman's currently is? Does it have any extra properties, like Conqueror's full block on the zone? All that was always measured in how it interacts when using it as an option select. And Ubisoft has already shown us one thing with the radar changes. A stamina cost reduction for zones is probably something we can expect for everybody. As it stands right now, zone costs vary already. Warden, for example, he takes 60 stamina to zone, whereas Tiandis, that one costs 30 for the first and 10 for the second part. If you're interested in all of these values, you can check the info hub, it has all the numbers for zone attacks, I'll link to it down in the video description. There's obviously also no need to standardize here. Multi-hit zones, faint ability and all that can come into play when lowering the cost. They don't have to all cost 12 like Raiders did in the testing grounds but I don't think there's any real reason to keep some of these insane values in. Another thing that we saw introduced in the rework was on Gladiator, he was given the ability to chain out of his zone attack. This is something that I really want to see implemented on many more heroes. Actually, Warden got it as well. I was about to say that only a handful of heroes can do it, but it's more than you'd expect. Multi-hit zones like Pika or Valkyries also have a soft fan option built in. But then we have zones like Orochi's, where the chain just stops right after it. In the same vein, we have zones like Warlord. Same as Orochi's? Just not really. Warlord is regarded as one of the best in the game, which tells us that being able to chain is not an absolute must to have a good zone attack, as long as other properties make up for it. Taking it one step further would be Jean Hu. Jean Hu can recovery cancel with his zone attack, which lets him use it mid chain. When playing the hero, it feels as if it's just part of his kit. After an opener, you can zone. I think this is something that absolutely needs to be explored. Combined with lower stamina costs, this can lead to some long chains, which might be considered spam and complained about. Even if I disagree with their assessment, this is something that needs to be kept in mind. Characters like Orochi would profit from it and it would fit with what we've seen in the testing grounds. He was already very reminiscent of Jean Hu, so I understand if some of you say that he shouldn't be just this straight up copy. Yet, I really hope that Ubisoft takes a look at these two properties that I've just mentioned. Being able to chain out of zones and having zones as recovery cancels, so we can use them mid-chain or even as a finisher. By all means, if it was up to me, just make it a universal thing for everybody. Okay, so while interesting concepts, we are still looking at some zones that are an absolute joke compared to others. Looking at Highlander or Valkyrie or even Nusha. The latter two even have soft find options built in, yet they are probably some of the worst that we currently have. And it's also not a matter of, oh let's just speed them up a little, then that will fix the whole issue. I hope that Ubisoft can take it a step further than that. This is now the opportunity to completely revamp these attacks and give some heroes new ones. I don't want zone attacks to now be just another tool to clear a few extra minions. The name zone attacks somewhat hints at it, or at least that's how it was understood in the beginning. Zoning or creating space. These concepts only really got adopted much later. 
or sometimes not at all. Once we start to shoehorn zones into just serving one specific purpose, we will naturally create a huge imbalance. I'm not saying that this won't happen anyways, because that's just how balance works. Some things will always be stronger than the rest, but making some zones be good minion clearing tools, others with a big focus on team fights, and then another couple offer something that we haven't even thought of right now. This can be an exciting time for upcoming reworks. I hope that we'll see creative ways for this type of attack now that the measuring standard is no longer does it work as an option select. We can even try and introduce completely new properties, make them unparable but blockable, creating a relatively safe attack because depending on hitbox it will make it really hard to punish even when being external. If you have any outside of the box ideas feel free to share them down in the comments. Or maybe you disagree with all of this, while I think some of these changes are kind of a natural next step, maybe it's also a little bit of wishful thinking on my part. Oh well, you let me know. Having said that, I hope the video was interesting, thanks for watching, laters everybody.